<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. Ooh, who's a bestseller? I'm a bestseller, and we're gonna open a beer. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on. Why is it opening? Okay, that was just a little messy, but I salvaged <laughs> the klutziness. Okay, so, well, excuse me, but one of us looks like we are not celebrating. What's the matter, you okay? Ooh, okay, well, you need to get off the internet then, because what are we reading? What are we looking at here? Scoot. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> sweetheart. Oh, yeah, a lot of people don't like me. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's, it's, let's not get it twisted. It's not that they don't like me. It's that they don't like my writing. That's okay. Is that what you're so upset about, baby? Come here, give me that cheek. The baby. It's okay. You don't need to be, you don't have to protect me from this. Here. All right, I'm going to sit on your lap. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that was a little, I <laughs> landed a little <laughs> faster than I expected. Uh, okay, well, you better put those arms around me because I'm about to teach you a valuable life lesson that has rescued my mental sanity on many occasions, and let's hope that I can now pass it on to you. So first of all, cheers to me being a bestseller. First of all, privilege. <laughs> We're gonna say hashtag blessed, to the privilege of being recognized. Yeah, I know, sweetie. I've been I've been doing a lot of work for a long time, but you know, let's be perfectly honest. It, it is it is such a competitive world that a lot of people deserve to be bestsellers. A lot of people deserve to be discovered. So while yes, we're gonna celebrate my talent as well and my ambition, I think I also it would be short-sighted of me not to celebrate where I've gotten really lucky. And where I've also gotten lucky is a supportive persistent positive presence in my life such as you so to you and me bleh, <laughs> that was gonna be a really graceful speech that was a that was a nice moment here looking in my eyes for a second there yeah we're back and we're back to the graceful moment here is to you and me <laughs> okay oh but you're still angry okay hold on cheers ah, that's so good Okay, listen. <laughs> oh, I'll wrap my arms right around your neck. I'm gonna give you little baby massages because we're gonna relieve all of this internet tension, all right? I'm gonna teach you a very valuable lesson that seeing as you care about me so much and that <laughs> you're feeling very protective of my headspace and how people treat me, Oh, truth of the matter is, honey, people are allowed to not like my work. People are allowed, baby, people are allowed to not like my work. Now, I like my work, and you like my work. And lots, enough people like my work that we can celebrate. And, you know, sweetheart, art is such a subjective form that if somebody else were to not like my work, like, who am I to judge their taste in writing? And, you know, that's sort of that that's the trickiest that's both i think like that's the russian roulette of the arts that i think people like me thrive on is um you know the highs are really high and the lows are really low a lot of factors um of which just you know simply come down to the fact that many of our submissions um you know oftentimes when we're submitting and we you know somebody has the power to have us published um if, if they may or may not like it, regardless of the actual work we've done. Now, you know, there's a line, of course, like, to a certain degree, like, in my opinion, like, you have to know how to write, <laughs> but, you know, this goes for any art, you know, you have to be able to do the thing, but after a certain point, it becomes very subjective. So, baby, people are allowed to not like my work, and that's okay, it's not personal, you don't have to protect me from any of that and it's not bad vibes in fact I feel very honored and privileged and special that they even that my my that my writing even you know wound up in their stack of reads 
to begin with, let alone the fact that they spent their time and energy looking at my words, you know, that's amazing. So I appreciate, I appreciate their time, you know, and to be perfectly honest, I mean, so here's the deal, baby. There's a difference between criticism and critique. So a lot of this too, I mean, critique, whether or not you agree with it is, is feedback that could at least be helpful one way or the other. It, it's intentionally helpful feedback. You know, it would be like me saying, oh, I don't know, let's say we were gonna paint this room red, right? And let's say I decided that I, I, I didn't like that idea and I were to explain, or let's say I came home and the room was red and I were to say, you know, I don't like this, I don't like this color because, and I offer the reasons as to why I dislike this color. You know, for me, you know, in this space, because I'll be the person using this space the most growing up, red was, you know, a very, it was associated with violence and, and so it gets my anxieties up and my anxieties need to be down when I'm writing, you know, whatever. So you're coming from a place of personal opinion and, you know, you're, there's some sort of reasonable explanation as to why you don't like a thing. Now, you, on the other hand, may disagree with me. You may say, you know what, um, I happen to disagree with you. I think red will ultimately be helpful to both of us because you know it'll keep us awake and alert and seeing as we both tend to fall asleep <laughs> while it's typing away um i think you know red oftentimes too like you know it, it i don't know like you you will state you would state your reasons as to why you like the red so just because you disagree with me doesn't mean you didn't learn something because what you just learned is that you double down on the red right but of course if you were to disagree with me now you've learned something now you're now you say you know what you're right we can do one better than the red. I'm glad you offered your point of view on this matter because now we can try maroon or <laughs> whatever. So whether or not you disagree with me, you would be appreciative of me of my feedback because you've learned either you 100% stick to the red idea um, or you would learn that you, you would actually prefer something different now that you've received a different point of view. Criticism, however, would mean me be coming in and just being like oh this sucks you suck well it's not helpful <laughs> it's you know it's a little self-entitled as far as my opinion being superior opinion but it also you know most importantly just isn't helpful one way or the other you know like what are you just gonna like agree or disagree that you suck even then the room's still gonna stay red you know because <laughs> then it would be a matter of well like well what color what are we gonna do now like this was a useless slap in the face <laughs> you know so to be perfectly honest, sweetheart, let me take a look. Yep. To be perfectly honest, baby, I mean, and I've <laughs> to be perfect. Uh, there's a lot of honesty flowing out of me right now. Um, I've read a lot of these. <laughs> I know, I know. I say I stay off the internet. I try not. I try not to Google my name, but it's oh, it's just so. It's right there, you know. It's so tempting. Um, but I I needed that because I did have a moment where I received one I read one opinion piece that was very respectfully scripted but they did not like my writing at all and for a second there my ego I think I had gotten so used to all these different people that had just been shaking my hand and congratulating me and you know coming to my readings and publishing my work like I did get really used to being universally liked so I think I, I needed that for a couple reasons I was glad I read that opinion piece a you know, they did offer some valuable insight where, you know, of course, I'm not going to rewrite this one, but for, you know, upcoming work, I will consider this person's opinions. So I was, I was happy that they offered their point of view and they did so respectfully. So the fact that I felt slighted for a second was strictly just, you know, an, an, an ego bubble pop response. I hadn't realized that I was developing ego until I read that piece, you know, and had to check in and recognize, okay, is it respectful? Yes. Is it critique? Yes. So for me to feel bad is strictly an ego response. I think it took me like, you know, five minutes to just breathe through it and, and check that. And I came back and I actually, I wrote this person. I said, thank you so much. This is great feedback. And of course they loved that, you know, cause they, they, you know, were nervous about posting that themselves. Um, so it would actually wound up being a really beautiful conversation between the two of us. So that was, like, I, I needed, I needed that too, sweetheart. You know, it's good to remember that even when we're doing really, really well, we are not the center of the universe. Um, and everything we do isn't going to please everybody. 
And I think that can be a little scary because so many of us are people pleasers. We wish that we could just please everybody, but it's, it's sobering to remember that we can't. Because then, you know, the beautiful thing about recognizing that there are so many other opinions about so many different ways to write or do things that, you know, that also means there are so many things to learn all the time, even when we feel like we've peaked, you know? Because who wants to peak? That's like finishing the final boss in a video game and having the opportunity to just keep playing it. And you're like, well, why? Like, there's nothing else to achieve here, you know? So don't you worry about me if anything I mean even look sweetheart like I'm sure there are some pieces out there I haven't stumbled on them yet myself and I think that's because I have been cautious of dodging criticism pieces which like I said are just like sort of the useless like she sucks pieces like there'd be no point or purpose for me reading those but you know those you can get mad at <laughs> those you can get mad at but even then like what are they gonna do like take away my achievements they can't they, no they won't they can't so you know they, they can't they can't hurt us baby you know recognizing I think oftentimes especially coming from you because you care about me so much and you're so protective I think oftentimes anger is a just a fear response because we see what we fear might be the beginning of a potentially dangerous situation. And so I'm constantly needing to, you know, check myself as far as recognizing, okay, where you're feeling fear, is this an actual dangerous scenario or is this just the fear, like a, a far hypothetical that will plausibly never ha turn into a dangerous situation? situation? I mean, like for example, Let's say we come across an article from a hater that's really, really nasty, right? And, like, mean. It's not just a matter of, I don't like her writing. It's, like, like get her. <laughs> like, pitchforks and torches. Like, just storm the castle, get her. We would have to recognize, all right, well, does this person have our address? <laughs> does this person have a team? Does this person have a history of doing these things? Like, is this just talk? Or could this talk build? Could it snowball into something dangerous? How plausible is it that this person's hate or negativity will actually become dangerous? Now, if it actually, we recognized, oh my gosh, they're like tweeting my phone number and, you know, if things got, if it actually became danger zone, like plausible danger zone territory, yeah, then absolutely strike back. Um, we have to protect ourselves. We have a right to self-defense, but... If it's just somebody just like being rude, you know, it's like, it's, it's a shame. It's a head shaker, but it doesn't mean we have to care. <laughs> it does not mean it, they've earned any of our time or peace of mind. So. so that means for you, I'm gonna press under your forehead to make a point. <laughs> You're really cute. <laughs> Listen, you, I'm not going to tell you not to worry about me because I know that's second nature for you. But I would say do not worry about these things you are reading. Because like I said, hopefully now you can filter the differences between critique and criticism and know that I love me some critique. <laughs> so that I will say, don't worry about that. Um, that as far as criticism, yeah, baby, just I appreciate your extra eyes and ears. And if anything looks actually dangerous, you know, we'll get riled up about it. But if it doesn't, you know, you can just laugh and realize how much power we have and how little they do. And <laughs> we can gloat and laugh maniacally um, over our success story. How about that? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I like it on your lap, it's cozy. This is gonna be my I am making a point place from now on. Do we like this deal? <laughs> Do we like this for foreseeable future? So that means you know to watch out. Anytime I sit on your lap means that we need to have a conversation. <laughs> there are worse places. There are worse places to converse, I think. <laughs> yeah. You look so good. Come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good day, baby. This is a happy day. Look. 
I'm on the internet. Every, like I'm all over the internet. That's that's amazing. <laughs> People are reading my work, baby. It's not just you anymore. <laughs> I hope that doesn't make you feel less special. <laughs> oh, but if it ever did, I'd be right here to make you feel special again, I promise. I promise. It's very important to me that you feel special, okay? <laughs> yeah, I haven't spilled this beer yet. <laughs> That's special. How's that for special? Ha! <laughs> Okay, well, now that I'm here, curiosity is getting the best of me. Let's click. Oh, ooh, this one looks scathing. Well, we're together. It'll be, um, you're right. We won't look at that one. It's a slippery slope. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to the next. Oh, this one liked me. Do you want to read the one that liked me? Nope, too boring. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> 